Hello guys, and today we have here another awesome deck profile. We have here another one of the big three decks. We have here Cliffworths, obviously, and this is what I think the deck to could look like this format. Again, I'm just trying to get people to think, and so there's a, a, a variety of cards in here. So let's just go right in. So we have the Triple Monolith. And lets you draw cards if you tribute during the end phase. If this is a pendulum in your pendulum zone, so if you tribute during the summon during this end phase, you draw equal to the number of please you tribute. It. So he's really great for drawing cards. I mean, you summon towers and then draw three during the end phase. That can be really, really stupid. Scout just got semi limited. Lets you search for any clear card by paying 800 life points. Towers this card. I mean, everybody when he first came out thought it was going to be the boss monster, but yet some people don't even run him. I still think he's good. Um, it is unaffected by spell and trap card effects and by the activated effects of any monster whose original level or rank is lower than this card's. So this is affected by level 10 and 11s and 12s, but not by level 9 and lower monsters, except for continuous effects. That any decreases all special monsters by 500 attack and defense. Stealth. Stealth is really good because if you tribute summon him, he has an effect to bounce a card to your opponent's hand and your opponent cannot activate cards or cards or effects in response to this so if it's the last chain link so if you tribute like a helix equipped with a sacrifice you get both of the you get his effect his effect and his effect off and your opponent can't activate anything to all of it you, your opponent can't activate anything at all because if this is the very last chain link and then we have disc summons two from deck monolith is a good card to add to um use to summon with this effect because unlike all of these guys they do when special summon um they lose uh, attack and go down to 1800 attack this guy will stay at 24 so he's great for ODKs. and then we have three odd eyes so we have more ch searches for scout and we also have searches for perform of trampolinix two helix two carrier this card when tributed pops back out and this card when tributed will return a face up card to the hand or just a monster one monster returns a monster to the hand and then perform about trampolinix when you perform a successful pendulum summon you're able to target one card in the pendulum zone return that to the hand so you can use scout you can activate scout use scout then activate this guy do a pendulum summon then return scout and do another search so he's really nice specifically when you're going for a towers or a stealth play majeki three upstarts three summoners art you can use it to search your scouts or your monolith two pot of riches Again, to make you guys think, shuffle three pendulum monsters into your deck from your graveyard and or face up in your extra deck, then draw two cards. So it can be really, really great. But you can only pendulum summon this turn for as far as special summoning goes. Two duality, so that way again more consistency. Three MST, one sacrifice, two weak of This is the new skill drain of the deck, which you could actually run at one, which I don't run at all, but probably wouldn't be bad to run at, yeah, at least one copy of. And this if a monster's normal flip summon in his level 4 or lower negate its effects into the end of this turn, that includes your own. So if you normal summon one of your flip up monsters, they become level 6. Their effects are negated, but they get their full attack, so that's really nice. And it is a level 5 or higher negate its effects until the end of the turn. This will not affect your monsters, I believe, because um, when they are summoned, they become level 4. So that second effect where that... Um, it's for, oh no, because it's only for special summon monsters, yeah, that second effect is only for special summon monsters, so ignore what I was just talking about, so anyways, if a monster is sum special summon and it is level 5 or higher, negate its effects until the end of the turn, also ban it if, if this, when it leaves the field. So, the way this would work, if your opponent were to special summon Unicorn, nothing would happen to Unicorn, not a single thing, which is not all that bad, um, but if they were to summon Valkyrie, Skanir, Brio, um, if they were to summon Trishula, the, uh, their effects would be negated. Except for Valkyries, because Valkyries could tribute himself, so thus his effect wouldn't be negated. Maybe, I don't know. But if they normal summon Manju, its effect would be negated. So that is something to note. And then we have 3 Fiendish Chain, again to negate effects, and you can target your own monsters to increase their attack. So if it gets MST'd, hit one of your own monsters, it will go up to a level 6 and have 2400 attack and then become unaffected by monsters that are level 5 or lower. And so that is the deck. Ignore this extra deck. It is really just a whole bunch of generic stuff. If anything is worthy to note, there's a Felgrand, 
So I'm Draco Sax. I don't know if you can even make Draco Sax anymore. No, I took out Shell. Um, then there's a whole bunch of rank 3 monsters such as um, Castel 101 and Cowboy. And so that is the deck, real quick. And this is really an interesting deck. I actually think it's one of the cheaper decks because this extra deck is. <laughs> you don't need it, so you can throw it out. But it is still kind of expensive because Scout, Scout is still expensive. This is, I think, like Scout's maybe $20 card, and this card is still a $20 card, so that's $80 right there. I don't know what Stealth's at. I don't know what this card's at. Well, it did get reprinted in the Astral Pack, and I don't know what how much this card costs. This might be like a $40 card. I don't know. I haven't checked its price in a while. But this is one of the bigger three decks. Will it hold the spots? I do not know. I feel if people start playing more of a Turbo Towers build, it could. Because they with um, Burning Abyss not being as consistent as they are. That means they can't really make their XC monster to get over towers. So this could really help. Like it beats out your sentries. Like as a your sentry player, I have nothing to this card whatsoever. Um, if you summon it, it's GG at that point in time. And so towers build might become more popular. Who knows? Um, losing skill drain is kind of sad, but it does have its own form of skill drain. So some people, I feel a lot of Clifford's players don't really like this card, but who knows. Who knows? Besides that, there are all variety of cards. You can run cards like Majesty's Fiend, Vanity's Fiend, and a Vanity's Ruler. You can also run Obelisk the Tormentor. This, card is, this deck is great as a basic tribute summoning deck. Um, you can use play a whole bunch of interesting tech. You have, the, have your scouts, have your monolith, and then run these guys. And then just have a whole bunch of uh, level 6 or higher monsters. You get to draw at least one card during your end phase while getting rid of your opponent's stuff, bouncing the monster, um, destroying back row, making it so your opponent can't special summon or they can't activate monster effects or whatever. So. There's a variety of things that you can do. Maybe we might see Majesty's Fiend be played in this deck because, again, Skill Drain is disappearing. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.